Batik is an ancient technique for making patterns on cloth. It is most famously used in China, where clever and intricate designs have been created using stencils as well as hand skills, but still very much in use all over the world today. It all works around the business of dyeing natural fabrics a different colour. With batik, you create a pattern on the fabric that resists the dye colour. You do this using wax, melted or molten wax. Anywhere the wax gets on the fabric will not change colour. Once the pattern has been created by leaving the piece of fabric in the dye for a while, you can melt the wax off again onto some paper using an iron. So this is how you do it. You need a jumping tool. This is like a pen with a little bowl on it to hold a reservoir of hot melted wax. It then pours through this spout onto your fabric. Just dip it in the hot wax and start work. It does drip. There's no getting away from it. But that helps to create the distinctive character of something that has been made using batik. Once you are happy with your design, the wax sets very rapidly and within a minute or two will be ready for the dye. Leave it in for 20 minutes for a good strong colour. Then lift it out wearing gloves and give it a good squeeze. This will give it a crackly look when it's finished. When it's dry, you can iron off the wax using a green paper towel. Keep ironing until you get no more greasy stains on the towel. As with everything in design and technology, there are important health and safety matters to consider. When doing batik, you must wear an apron. This will protect your clothes against splashing wax and dye. You must also be aware that hot wax can be very damaging indeed if it gets in your eyes or any other particularly soft or sensitive part of your anatomy, so always behave sensibly around it. You'll be using an iron for this job too. Don't leave it on, lying down anywhere, or you could start a fire. Don't all crowd round when there's ironing going on. Someone will get jostled onto the hot plate. It's bound to happen if you push your boundary. And on that serious note, lighten up. Do enjoy having a go at Batik. <laughs>